Hello everyone, and welcome to Kick It. This week we look at a Genesis classic and the horror. The horror. Not much to report this week, but I can update that Wii U backers of Ukulele can now, through their backer kit survey, change their platform of choice or outright ask for a refund. As of now, however, the Switch version has no release date and will be digital only, with no physical copy at the moment. Although Platonic did tease what looks a lot like a ukulele amiibo. Also, Indivisible have considered a release on Switch and are talking with 505 games about the possibility, but have nothing to confirm at the moment. Back in 1993, EA would release Mutant League Football, an absolute twisted take on American football, featuring beasts, skeletons, death traps, and just absolute brutality. Well, the original creator, Michael Mendheim, has arrived on Kickstarter with the studio Digital Dreams to bring us Mutant Football League. Hello Kickstarter, I'm Michael Menheim, creator of the original cult classic video game Mutant League Football and we've been working hard on the spiritual successor Mutant Football League. MFL is an NFL Blitz arcade style football game with nasty mutants, deadly weapons, dangerous fields and lots of player deaths. The game is near alpha and fully playable now. The game is being planned right now for PS4, Xbox NPC, with suggestions they may bring to Switch later on. They already have an alpha prototype which you can get if you back one dollar and the code is sent to you almost immediately. Being developed in Unity, MLF has you pick from numerous teams like Hatriots, Terminators, Vultures, Orcs of Hazard, and numerous others that could be mistaken from teams from the XFL and I play just as well as their first game. I don't know American football. I don't play Madden, and I watch the Super Bowl for the commercials. <laughs> While I was able to do better the second time around, the actual hazards like the saw and landmines didn't play that big of a role. But I will give props to the design of the stadiums and the commentary. I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. <laughs> And I think a ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. Wow! Like a blood mobile crashing into a slaughterhouse! If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. They are asking for 60 grand and have already made over 80% of it with almost three weeks left. $25 gets you the game with beta access and $35 for alpha. With how the man games strive to be as accurate as possible, it's great to see a football game that doesn't take itself too seriously. So, let's join together to make this project a touchdown. That's a football term, right? This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend, the end of our I love the smell of rape come in the morning. The it smells like victory. Of everything that stands the end, no safety. In 1979, Francis Ford Coppola would release one of the greatest war movies ever made, Apocalypse Now and its take on the Vietnam War was one of the pinnacles of the new Hollywood era. And now, after almost 40 years, Francis is coming to Kickstarter to make Apocalypse Now 
into a video game. My name is Montgomery Markland, and we're making a game out of Apocalypse Now, the motion picture. So my friends told me that American Zoetrope had the rights to Apocalypse Now, but they had been interested in making a game. We are basing this game on one of the most well-regarded motion pictures of all time. The more they told me about the project, the more interesting it sounded, because it was really taking an approach that I wouldn't have expected from a lot of developers. This is Francis Ford Coppola, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about Apocalypse Now. I remember telling my editor, Walter Merch, that the more he worked on Apocalypse Now, the crazier he would get. If you experience this game, Game, perhaps it'll have the same effect. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is he coming to Kickstarter? Surely Francis could walk into any studio or publisher in this industry and say, I'm Francis Ford fucking Coppola and I want to make a video game. Well, he said himself. So I wasn't surprised to hear that these companies weren't ready to take on Apocalypse Now in the way we wanted to make it. Some game industry executives told us we should license our film and make a shooter game or do a mobile version, clearly trading only on the iconic title of the film. But that's the last thing I'd want to do. What this will be, however, in their words, is an immersive, psychedelic horror RPG. So, Spec Ops Align meets Far Cry 3. Okay, I'm listening. You'll be playing Martin Sheen's character, Captain Willard, but you won't necessarily be going down his path. This game will feature many branching choices with decisions to make. The game is set for 2020, yeah I know, with no planned platforms as of yet. A $900,000 goal and about two weeks left with it only making a hundred and sixty grand as of now. And the reward tiers range from twenty-five to ten thousand dollars, which features more stuff than anyone could know what to do with. This is a very intriguing move made by one of cinema's greats. It would be nice if this industry wasn't so market data driven that it could be made through the proper channels. But if this does get funded, this could be a very interesting tile indeed. Let's just hope it makes it. Well folks, that's it for another episode of Kick It. I'll see you all next time.